What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, today we are continuing with the RPG series and the equipment system. So we'll basically make sure that we can see our player character model in the UI of the wardrobe and then we will also make sure that we can select the item and assign it into the coordinate slot. It's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. <laughs> Alright, so let's begin by making sure that we can see our player model in the UI. So what we're going to do is go into our players. So let's go to third person blueprints and open up the third person character. Let's go into the viewport and what we have to do is go and add a camera boom. So go ahead and add here a camera boom. Uh, okay, it doesn't appear, it doesn't matter. We can just select our existing camera boom, uh, which is actually a uh, spring arm. Okay, that's why it doesn't appear <laughs> because now they changed the name to spring arm. Uh, so we need the spring arm, and this will be the equipment spring arm, let's say. So equipment uh, spring arm. And then we need to do select this and then add a scene capture component 2D. So the scene capture component 2D will be like a camera that will basically. Uh, save what is seen into the texture. So later on we can display that texture in our UI So let's go ahead and select the spring arm and let's go into the rotation and change the z-axis to be 180 So now it will be basically directly facing the player. So it will be in front of course Then we'll go ahead and select the scene capture component And what we're going to do is go down over here into the uh, yeah, scene capture settings and basically we only want to render that a specific target okay that player we don't want to render all what is behind like the walls the environment and so on we just want the player and then we'll in the future mask it out and it will just be the player itself so what we need to do is go into the capture source and uh, sorry into the primitive render mode and instead of uh, rendering all the scene primitives what we want to do is we just use uh, show only list so now we will basically need to sign uh, that actor into the list okay let's go ahead and do so so uh, make sure to show that we have captured every movement uh, and every frame ticked on so now let's go into the event graph and let's go into the begin play so basically when the game starts we create the widget and so on and then what to do is get the scene capture component to d and then what to do is show only actor components let's go ahead and drag it here and then what we want to do is select that specific mesh, which is going to be here. Let's drag it. Actually, it's a whole actor, so we're just going to say self because we want to basically see that whole actor. Okay, basically ourselves. Now, let's quickly select the spring arm again and let's go into the uh, collision test and disable this. The thing is that we don't want it to detect if there's an obstacle and then put it closer and stop no it's fixed we're only gonna render the player so there's no problem with all that all right so now let's go ahead and compound save so let's go ahead and create the texture that will save our uh, what we this scene basically so let's select this go down to the scene capture and let's go ahead and right uh, sorry left click and then create new asset render target okay let's go ahead and choose our equipment system folder it's going to ui and on here, let's change this to be the character uh, equipment texture render target to the. Um, I mean, we can just put texture target. <laughs> that's a bit, yeah, that's better. Let's go ahead and save. And there we go. Let's go ahead and compound save. So now you see that if, for example, I press play and I move around and then I exit and then go into the equipment system UI, you will see that we actually have the texture being uh, well basically appearing here as you can see great first of all we are only rendering the player that's cool now we're also rendering the skybox don't worry we'll fix that in a second but you can see that the quality is uh, let's say not very good so let's go ahead and you know just uh, put in the size x and y to be higher let's say uh, 2048 and 2048 Basically, it will just make things a bit better, honestly, okay? Great. So, another thing that we have to do is now create a material to be able to mask and what I've just mentioned about the, um, the skybox. So, go into the render type texture, right-click, and go into create material. This is going to be basically M underscore character, uh, and I just get the underscore mat at the end out. Let's go ahead and open this up. 
So let's go ahead and select the output node and let's go into the material domain and change it to be into user interface. And then we're going to go into the blend mode and change it to be opaque to uh, what is it masked. So let's go ahead and plug in the RGB into the final color. And then let's go ahead and get the alpha, drag it here and do a one minus. This will basically remove all the things that we don't need. Let's put that into the opacity mask. And let's just go ahead and apply this and save it. And let's wait a few seconds. And then we'll be able to close it and we can add it into our UI. Okay. <clears throat> come on, come on. There we go. So now I can close it and go and even close this. And I'll open up our WB equipment. Let's go ahead and open this up. So basically, we want to swap this image with a new one. The thing is that we have to do something first. But let me just put it over here so you can see what I mean. But let's go into the brush settings image and then let's assign the image that we have just created which was um m character equipment texture target compile save press play i uh here i open the player and you can see this here but first of all it is extremely small and it is like squashed this is because it is of course going ahead and stretching the image and this is not what it will want okay we want is to basically crop the image into you know to, to basically fit the character so what we want to do is go here and add a scale box let's go ahead and just drag it on and let's put the anchor to be on the center let's go into the character viewport image and copy the same parameters so 450 and 650 so let's go and put this to you know, 450 650 and then in alignment let's put this to 0.5 and 0.5 so it's now in the same position than before. Now let's go ahead and get this to uh, be renamed to a character scale box. And now let's get the character viewport image and drag it inside of it. So now it's a child. Now let's enter in the character, uh, sorry, in the viewport image and let's change this to be uh, fill. Okay, so now it will fill everything. But there's something that we are going to, to change and it's basically on stretching. So stretching, uh, sorry, in the parent, let's go into the parent and you can see that we have in stretching here, we have stretch and right now we have scale to fit. We want to change this to scale to fit and that should do the trick. And, and I believe that I did something wrong. Uh, yes. Uh, so let's select the, the viewport image and change to be center center. Okay, so it's not filling. It's basically center center and then uh, scale to fill. And now you will see that the character will appear properly here. Now, it is very small. So let's go ahead and change that. So what we have to do is make the camera boom smaller. So let's go back into our uh, third person uh, character blueprint. Let's enter into the equipment spring arm. And let's put the arm leg to be like maybe only 100. Let's compile and see how that uh, goes ahead and looks all right let me put this here okay that's maybe <laughs> too big and it's getting out of bounds maybe 200 and um, that's a bit better hopefully that's way better maybe even a bit more so 170 maybe uh, i think 170 will be perfect yeah that, that that's pretty good so yeah you can see our character there now of course now doesn't get very good because you're seeing the older character in the background, the actual real game. But like I mentioned before, we are basing this UI and equipment system and the whole RPG series on Assassin's Creed Origins. And basically it is, it has a background. Okay, the Assassin's Creed Origins has a background. Let's go ahead and do so. Let's go into common and just get an image, drag it in. Let's get the anchors to be in the whole screen. And then we can put the offset in left, top, right and button to be zero so we'll fill up the whole screen and let's get this image rename it to background and let's put it right on the top right below the first canvas panel so basically it will be behind everything okay and then let's go into the um tint okay and change this to be basically uh, darker and let's put the in color and opacity let's put the alpha to be in point two or even 0.3 uh we'll see 8.5 you'll see how it goes 
normally in the future, I think we'll, if we find a cool image, we'll change it to opaque. But for now, we'll have some transparency just to make things a bit uh, different, you know? Now, let's go ahead and add some blur. So, I guess, really cool effect. So, let's go and find the background blur. Put over here. Again, right uh, underneath the background. And then the anchors will be the whole screen. And in the offsets will be all zero, zero. And then we can go into the blur strength and put something as maybe 10. And maybe that's too much, five. Um, we can we can play with the values. Uh, so now if we open up, you will see that we have a nice like back, back, background already, okay, with some blur, um, which is better. Of course, in the future, we'll improve the background massively. Uh, also gonna change the blur strength to be 10 and the background op uh, opacity alpha to be maybe 0.7. So it's a uh, kind of a stronger, yeah, I like this more uh, equipment. Okay, and of course we can put it and exit. Great. Uh, so a lot of this is temporary. Okay, don't worry. But now let's go into the second part of the third one. We go ahead and click. So if you remember the last episode, if we actually got, grab some items, okay, we can open this up, and now we can go ahead and see all the items that we have, and we can go ahead and uh, equip uh, a certain item right so for example i can go and equip the health uh, health sword uh, so we now have to do the part that will actually equip it the cool part about this as you can see the character is that it will update in real time so you will have like all the um animations in in place happening so in the future we'll, we'll go ahead and pause the game so for example if you were jumping uh, right like in Assassin's Creed, that you will see the character like half jumping and stuff it, it will be really cool but for now of course we have to Maybe center and all that stuff first. Let's go ahead and just make sure that we can select uh, these guys over here. So let's go into the slots that appear in that UI, which in this case it is the. Let's go into the equipment system, uh, UI, and it is the uh, item slot. So this is the one that we want to be able to uh, to basically click. I don't know why I haven't. What is this? Why do I have this UI here? Um, oh, okay, <laughs> minimize. That's weird. Okay, so in the button, but of course is filling up. Let's go down into the unclicked event and add on. So now we'll be able to do something when we click this button. So what we want to do is basically go into the equipment system and go into the graph and then do some stuff over here. So what we want to do is basically be able to sign it into that specific item over here so first of all we need a current uh, equipable slot variable slot and this will be the type of um wb wb underscore and uh, where's it where's it, where's it? Uh, it will be item slot no it will be Equivable slot. Okay, so we have to create a type of this. So let's change this. There we go. It'll be an object reference. And when you click on any type of slot, it will assign to that one. So let's go ahead and open the equivable slot. Let's go into the graph. And when we click the button, apart from doing that, what we will do is get the uh, equipment widget and then get the, uh, what was it, the current equivable slot. And well, sorry, set it. So set current equivalent slot. And what we will do is say that this will be self. Okay, so we'll be assigning it into itself. Okay. Um. Now what we need to do is go back into the equipment uh, panel here. And what I had to do is make a custom event on a basically assign. Assign a uh, let's say a slot, assign slot, item slot, assign, assign item slot. I think that will be pretty good. So we have to get a current equivalent slot and then basically get the icon or how is it called? Uh, let's, let's, let's see. It's just the button. Okay, so we'll have to change the, um, the image of the button. Uh, so what we're going to do is actually get another image and drag it on the inside the button and then we'll change to be fill and then we can change this 
uh, image directly it will be better and let's change the name to be icon and make sure that it's variable state so let's compile go back here and now we can get the icon and what we will do is set the brush which is like setting the image to be the one and what to do is make brush from texture so now what we want to do is get that specific item over there so the thing is that when we will basically be receiving a parameter from here and what we'll be receiving will be the item to uh, assign item to assign there we go and this will be a wb um actually no this will be s slots okay s slots slots there you go s lots there now great and what we'll do is get this and then break it and then right click split it and let's get the data table get row a single row let's also get the uh, row name and when we find it we we'll do is break the s weapon so we have all the items over here let's go ahead and quickly control x and move this and paste it into here so it's after we have got the information and then we'll introduce get the icon and put it here and let's put uh, 125 by 125 great so now it will be assigned uh, and the target will be basically of the set brush of the uh and here in the icon of that icon great so now what we need to do is call this from the item slot so let's go ahead and save the copo slot and close it so we don't confuse ourselves let's go into the item slot and down here what we need to do is cast to the uh, third third person character let's go ahead and get uh, the player character all right Let's go ahead and get the equipable uh, widget. How is it called? Oh, we need to get the component BBC and now we can get the uh, get the equipment widget. And now what we need to do is call that function, well, that custom event that we have just created, which is, I believe it was set, um, assign, sorry, assign items to slot. So here we have to find that specific item. Now the thing is that in here we have any way of knowing which item is currently assigned because this is done before right over here okay but what we're going to do is in here go ahead and assign it okay so let's go into the item slot and create a new variable it's going to be item and this is going to be type s slots let's go ahead and save and let's go back to the equipment and now on here what we're going to do is uh, go and get this and then set slots set oh uh, no yes oh sorry item i'm i confusing that uh so now what we need to do is set that item with the one that we're creating which in this case it will be uh, this one sorry the parent array element great and let's compile and save now we can go back to the item slot and we'll get the item you just drag it here so now that should work <laughs> it was extremely confusing maybe but it's what we have to do uh, don't worry in the future we'll place the ui that we have the image there don't worry but now we can select well we have to get some items first so let's go ahead and do so let's get some items let's open this let's go here now we can select the heavy sword and there we go we are assigning it into here great 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 so this is working we can select this sign this and that's this of course um in the future we'll make that we can select specific items into the category so this will be like the melee ranged uh armor and whatever like like i mentioned before and we'll have not like, we can repeat the same item and things like that uh but that will be for in the future okay so if you found the video i hope i will really appreciate you could like the video and subscribe to my channel i have lots of unreal and tutorials so go ahead and check them out go ahead and join my discord service you can talk with the other devs show your progress of your uh, games and rpg series and also go ahead and follow me on all my socials with that said bye bye